Hundreds of people remain evacuated from their homes tonight, including Grand County Manager Kate McIntyre, who delivered a message of hope during a morning press conference. To be the county manager, uh, as well as being evacuated from my home and not having information about whether or not it's still standing, um, I just want you to know that there are many of us on the team that are in that situation. And so not only do we have sympathy for you, we are right there with you. Keep the, the good thoughts, good energy. Um, I'm wearing yellow today. That's the color of hope, and that's what we need to have right now. Uh, we all have hope, and our team coverage continues now with Lance Hernandez in Granby. And Lance, you talk to other evacuees watching so anxiously and waiting tonight. I talked with one homeowner who says she just received confirmation about two hours ago that her beautiful home on the lake is gone. One of the things that you know when you own a house in the mountains is that it's not if, it's when. And you think about what is it going to be like to lose my home? Cami Gilmore and her husband purchased this home on Sun Valley Lake so they'd have a place to spend summers with their children. It became their livelihood. They called it Twin Pines Lodge. They came down to bake some pumpkin bread for guests earlier this week. That's when the pre-evacuation orders were issued. This is what it looked like when they left, ash falling from the sky. Moments ago, she received this photo from a firefighter friend. It's all that remains of Twin Pines Lodge. She says the worst part of the inferno is the loss of life, of course, and the loss of community. She says they're very close to one of their neighbors. Just knowing that the years that I've spent on her porch, that we've spent sharing memories, um, I don't know if I'm going to get that time back with my neighbors. It's very tough for a lot of other people who haven't received word yet on what the status is of their homes, and it may be days yet before they receive that word. Just to let you know what it looks like, this is north of Granby, the hillside over there. We've seen some flames flare up and some smoke uh, plumes uh, shoot up uh, throughout the day, but things seem a little bit calmer tonight. There is still some breeze here in the valley, so uh, the community of Granby itself is not out of danger yet, but things are looking a little bit better, especially with moisture on the way. Reporting live in Grand County, Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. All right, really shows you what's at stake here. Lance, thanks very much for that report.